Hello everyone. My name is Damien and I invite you to a quick tutorial on my latest volumetric cloud product. Here we will focus on downloading, installing the add-on, and a few basic things. I'm sorry that the speech is on a synthesizer, and I'm not using my own voice, but trust me, it will be better this way. I hope in the future I will learn enough English to guide you personally through the tutorials. You can buy my volumetric clouds on my website DP Studio. Plural where you will also find many other useful products. So here we go. First, you need to download and unpack the plugin in the folder where you have Blender Asset Browser. This may take a few minutes because there are a lot of assets and they are of very good quality. Now we run the DP Studio Clouds file in Blender format and if everything went well, then everything should work right away. Clouds are divided into different categories. If you still have problems with the display, you need to find the location where you installed the Blender files. Edit, Preferences, File Paths, click on the plus and select the location. Don't forget to save your preferences. We save the project, it may also take a few minutes. Launch a new project and go to the Asset Browser tab. Our clouds should be visible there by now. We catch selected clouds and move them to the stage. We can see what the cloud looks like by going to Viewport Shading. We go to the Shader Editor tab where we can create our sky. Here we switch from Object to World. Now we can manipulate the sky by changing the appearance of the clouds. Clouds really have a lot of detail, so they can seem slow. To speed up the work, we can reduce the max steps parameter in the volumes tab. Reducing the parameter does not affect the quality of the clouds too much, but it speeds up rendering a lot. As you can see, a lot of details are preserved. Go to the Object tab in the Shader Editor panel and I will show you the basics of manipulating the appearance of the cloud. Density is a cloud transparency parameter. We can make the cloud almost invisible or very dense. We can also change its color without affecting the sky. Or manipulating the sky.
Remember to turn on the rendering icon in the panel on the right before rendering, otherwise the cloud will be invisible during rendering. It's all in this short guide. If you liked it, let me know, next time we will try to create something more advanced with volumetric clouds, this girl with a cloud, or time-lapse clouds. Please thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time. Regards.